Hi, I'm going to talk about residuals and how we calculate residuals. So first of all, a residual is given as an actual point minus a predicted point. So actually, it is the actual minus predicted. And one way you can remember it is AP. So it's always the actual minus the predicted. Um, when we're talking about residual, we are talking about a vertical distance. So we are talking about the y value of an ordered pair. So for example, for this residual in words, if I write it in symbols, the actual represents the y value of your ordered pair. And the uh, predicted represents the y hat value of your ordered pair. So let's look at an example how we would calculate a residual. Um, here is an example of uh, where the explanatory variable x is represented by hours and uh, y is, represent, is represented by people attending a lecture. So uh, the, as the hours get uh, larger, the number of people decrease, their attention span de decreases. So here is our scatter plot and we have our best uh, our line of best fit. I'm going to calculate a residual, an example of one point. So this is an actual point right here. We could see it in the table. When the time is three hours, there will be 50 pe people left in the lecture. So here is our point. We have our best fit line. Uh, the equation of the best fit line is given by the following below here. So how would I calculate a residual? Well, what does it look like visibly? Visibly, a residual is the vertical distance. So that means I need to know what point would be predicted. Anything on this line is a predicted point. Uh, now, you could have an actual point on a predicted line. That means the residual would be zero. So for example, this point at one, when the hour is one, there will be 70 people. If you plug in one, you should get very close to 70. Now, this was just a um, sketch, so it's not very accurate. But the further away your point is from your best fit line, the bigger the residual is. Now, also to pay attention, if the residual is above your line, then that would be a positive residual. And if the point is below the best fit line, then when you calculate a residual, it will be negative. So let's go ahead and calculate the residual of um, the amount of people. What would it be predicted if I wanted to know how many people would be in left in the room after or at three hours? So I can use the best fit line. Just plug into X right here. This is our X. This right here is our Y hat. Okay. And so I already know that at three there's 50 people, but if I predicted it, I can go ahead and plug in three into the equation. And when you simplify it, you get that it is predicted that when it's three hours, there will be 45.46 people. Now, obviously we know that there's no such thing as 45.46 people, but what we're talking about here is an average. So when we have an average, we can use um, a decimal. So what would the residual be? Well, the residual was, will simply be the actual minus the predicted. But when I talk about actual, I mean the Y value. So let's go ahead and look at the predicted point. Using the equation, we predicted that the hour of three, there will be 45.6 people. In other words, this point right here, the predicted point is three comma 45.6. So what we actually wanna know is the vertical distance. How far away is my actual from the predicted? So all you need to do is subtract it so here is the predicted point. This is x, y hat. This is the actual point, x and y. They are ordered pairs. I am just going to go ahead and subtract. The actual is uh, y minus y hat is the predicted. So the actual y value is 50 people minus the predicted is 45.46. So our residual if we use a calculator, 
we will have a residual of 4.56. So that's how we calculate the residual. Now, if it is positive, as I mentioned before, that makes sense because it is above the line. So what does it mean when it's above the line? I just want to say one more thing. Um, so any point that is above the line means that our best fit line underestimated the amount of people. And anything that is under, in other words, a, uh, an actual point that is under the best fit line means the line overestimated the amount of people.